This lesson examines how ICT can be embedded into classroom practice. Digital technologies allow us to interact with the world in ways that were not possible before. Increased globalisation and the advent of digital media has meant that people from diverse cultures are now in regular contact with one another. Technologies such as the internet are allowing people to connect and to create new knowledge and meaning that was not possible in previous generations, because these tools did not exist. As educators, we should provide opportunities for our students to develop their abilities to use these digital tools, to construct knowledge, to collaborate widely beyond traditional boundaries, and to communicate effectively and efficiently. As the cultural tools of the 21st century, digital technologies are essential to the development of these skills. Simply making the technology available in the classroom, including the provision of a device for every student, does not change the learning experience in and of itself. It is the design of the learning experience and what the students use the technology for that makes the difference. The ITL research, for example, distinguishes between basic use and higher level uses of technology. As you can see from the diagram, many teachers tend to use technology at a basic level. This is also supported by other research, which you can find on the OneNote notebook, which accompanies these 21 CLD courses. Throughout the 21 CLD courses, we have examined how digital technologies can be used in the classroom to enhance and deepen the learning experiences designed for students. For example, we have seen how tools such as OneDrive, OneNote, Skype, Yammer, PowerPoint and Office Mix can be used to enhance communication by allowing students to work together, have shared responsibility make substantive decisions and participate in interdependent work. Tools such as Sway, the Checkoff Story app, Outlook, PowerPoint, OneNote, Skype, Publisher, WhatsApp and Movie Maker were used to enhance skilled communication by allowing for extended communication, multimodality, the inclusion of supporting evidence as well as the design and publication for a wide range of audiences. For knowledge construction, we saw students use tools such as Bing, Excel, M8 Mind Map, Movie Maker, Sway, Office Mix, Publisher, Skype and Photo Gallery to construct new knowledge and apply their knowledge to support another knowledge construction task. These technology tools provided greater flexibility to incorporate a variety of interdisciplinary subject areas. When it comes to the development of self-regulation, students could use tools such as OneNote, Word, Office 365, OneDrive, Excel and Yammer to organise their learning over a long-term activity, plan their work throughout the learning activity, as well as revising their work based on feedback from their teacher, their peers or outside experts. Within Office 365, you can use OneNote and OneNote Class Notebook to organise the student's work provide written and audio feedback directly to each student in the OneNote and use the OneDrive to organise their assignments and keep track of work versions. For real-world problem solving and innovation, students could use tools such as Excel, Movie Maker, Bing and apps such as M8 Mind Map and GeoGebra to work on solving problems by developing solutions that are new to them. These technologies can also provide opportunities for students to innovate and put their ideas or solutions into practice in the real world. When planning for students' use of ICT for learning, you need to consider the opportunities that you are providing your students to actually use ICT. The students' use of ICT should permeate all of the 21 CLD rubrics and be integral to your learning activity design. Consider, for example, how students could use technologies such as Songsmith, Photosynth, Movie Maker or Office Mix to create ICT products that others could use. Gaming, coding and app development tools such as Minecraft, TouchDevelop and Kodu could also provide great opportunities for your students to visualise and simulate problems and create innovative solutions. You can find more information about all of the tools and apps featured on this course on the 21CLD course OneNote. Another source of inspiration and support is the Microsoft Educator Community where you can get access to courses on using these tools, share ideas and find practical examples of effective use of ICT for learning.